now that I've cut four four strips my, the length of the finished drop of this pinch pleat is going to be uh, nine this also is another technique now I'm not going to sew it the ordinary way which you put one on top of the other and sew it what we're going to do is to save on ironing we're going to open up the top one we've got them both matched up but we're going to open it up and we're going to look for the pattern and we lay it on top of it and we're going to stitch this helps me to see the pattern to match it up perfectly so there's my almost 20 centimeters there is a pattern here so there's a pattern right here that's the pattern I'm going to use to match up here so I folded down the top one now I'm going to look for that same pattern again and I'm going to match it up there it is so my fabric is folded so that when I put it on my table I don't necessarily have to iron it open because it's already stitched open So here you see it's stitched in the open position and the other side just looks normal and you can see where I've matched the patterns continue back on but it's so busy it's very hard for you to see. can see I have not ironed it as yet as you can see the way how I've stitched it it's been forced to stay open so I don't really have to open it up all I'm doing is just ironing it and I've got to be careful with this fabric because it looks like it's got a bit of velvet in it so I'll be careful how I press this steam otherwise it will show through so that's what I've done there and now I'm going to flip it over as you can see this is a big so you see it's, it's forced to stay open I don't think I should iron this fabric. Yeah, I won't iron it. It has a bit of a shine on it, so I won't iron it. So I'll wait until I've finished and then use my steamer. So what I'll do now is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to hem it. Now I've shown you one way of hemming it. This is another way of hemming it. Normally, before I come to this stage, when I've got them in um, st strips of cuts, length, I hem it first by turning it up and getting it ready and then stitch the side together. But this time I thought I'll show you the conventional way whereby you stitch this up and then we hem th the bottom. So I'll do that now. So I find my six inch hem. I look for the pattern at the bottom to save me time from measuring the whole thing
both sides of my curtains, I'm giving it a two inch turn under. I've also got to make sure that it doesn't, 54, my lining will just about cover this, so it's fine, and that will be both ends. side and now I'm going to mitre the corner. Now I've already shown you a video on how to mitre the corner so I'll just do this. sure it doesn't show on the other side. By doing this, felling this here, it makes this corner here sharp when the curtain's hanging up and this will never roll out of place. That's the purpose of doing this. I'll do this to both sides and this is what makes this curtain a higher quality than ready-made curtains. Is that, this is at a stage now whereby all it's waiting for is me to hem it on the fella machine and then attach the lining to it. So I'm going to put this aside now. So that's one side done, waiting for the other side and the lining. This is what's called a filler machine. In other words, I'm hemming the bottom of the curtain. Check the tension. coming through. Lovely. Now we'll hem it.
because it's bumpy there, I rather start it. Off. Come to the end of it, all we do is put the needle to a certain point and pull backwards and that locks it. And that's your hemming done. And for the other side, you can't even see where it is. Fantastic machine. Here we have the sharpness of the curtain which is at the side down here. It's sharp already and the lining's not even in it. It's at the stage now that it's waiting for the lining. So when we so as you can see that has been hemmed all the way around and it's not even finished. Uh, it's been fell and it's holding it so that's why it's got that sharp look at the side and it's sharp at the bottom as well so that is stage one getting ready for stage two whereby I put the lining in so now I'm going to do the lining these curtains are pinch pleat curtains that's why I'm showing you all again because there's already a video out on how to make curtains. Lining is made up in exactly the same way. The only difference is that the hem of the lining is two inches. So we're saving ourselves two inches. So it's a two inch turn up, but I allow four inches for the two inch turn up. So as for the other one, it was six inch. This one is, so that was a three inch inside. This one's two inch, two by two. And at the top, because it's a um, pinch pleat, um, we allow the same amount of fabric for the top of the pinch pleat as well. So we have to do some calculation here. So this is just gonna be cut two inches less than the other one, than the main fabric. When the lining is on my table at this point, when the lining is on my table at this point, I like to hem my lining. I like to do the main fabric this way as well. Um, I hem it first, iron it, before I actually stitch the sides up. So now that I've done it to this, right, which is not hemmed yet, it's just turned under. Uh, then I go and I'm gonna go up now and stitch the sides and then put them to the main fabric and then you'll see that then. Here I have put my fabric back on the table. Um, as you can see, this is 55 inches wide and the other bit is hanging over at the bottom, hanging over the table. So we've got a very large um, curtain. This is one side. There's our side seam, it's, op it's open. And as you can see here, what I do is with my ruler, is I'm knocking the air out, getting rid of the air to make sure it's absolutely straight and flat. Because you see, what can happen is, is if there's a pleat in here, right here, and you think it's the right length when you're measuring it, by the time it's hanging, gravity, um, it will go to its true length which because of the pleat. So we have to take out all the, the air. 
Now we're going to put the lining back on top because the side is all hemmed all the way around. It's all hemmed. The lining, as I said, is stitched up in the same way, but this time the hem of the lining was done by machine. So it's only machine stitch. You don't have to fella the lining, it's just stitched. And it's not even ironed yet. But I do need to iron the seam because I didn't do it the way I showed you. I did it the normal way, so now I've got to sit here, stand here, and iron the seam open. Now I will flip this over. and I will put seam to seam. Anything, hopefully, that's at the edge, I will cut it off. There we go. Seam to seam. Now remember I told you I do 6 inch hem and a 4 inch hem here. So by the time I, I've played with the 6 inch hem, I've got 3 inside and 3 on the outside. The 4 inch hem, I've got 2 inside and 2 on the outside. All right, now the reason why I do that is because most of you will notice I don't use my tape measure and do quite a lot of measuring. You see, if you do your mass beforehand, you don't need to. Because this is two inches and this is three inches, when you put the two seams together, you're left with a one inch seam right here. Let me bring you closer. You see? That is two inch and this is three inch. So of course, if you put the two together right there, the two seams, all the way along the edge, you just put those together. By the time it goes down, it's left a one inch space. So that's why I don't, you don't see me measuring it to do it. If I'd use two inch and a two inch, then I'd have to measure it. And if your fabric is transparent, then you will see the lining sometime above the hem. So that's what I do now. That's what I'm doing here. I put seam to seam together, seam to seams, so there's a seam to seam, and, and just fold it down. And then I'll have a one inch all the way around. And with the side as well, 
we hang it over the edge and if I wanted to we cut it off and then what we do is we just put it there side to side and roll it on itself and the same thing applies the same thing applies you get your one inch you get your one inch all the way up without having to use the tape measure all the time so here now I put my seam to seam making sure that I cover the raw edges and that's what this this lining does it tidies everything up and that was done without measuring Now, to, along that side there, you see that I've left the lining open. I'm going to now lock it so that when the wind blows, that section of the curtain will not move. So that's what you're going to see me do now. which is a locking stitch. I'm locking the lining and the main fabric together. Right now, I believe this stitch is called a locking stitch. That's all it is doing, it's locking. It's on the seam, all the way up. It's just holding the two. So um, it shows off the pleats nicely when this curtain's pleated, because this is pinch pleat. Um, so it won't really blow in the wind. So that's done all the way up. And that's your locking stitch. If you have more than one seam, then you lock them all. Now that you're here, what I do here now is I bring the lining back over and as you can see that goes there. So that now is seam to seam.
that's out of the way, that's off the floor. And now I focus on the other side and now I'm going to hem the other side. And then I'll come back to this later. Here we go now, we're going to start hemming the line into this and we're going to start at the corner here and what I'll do is I stitch from here say probably an inch and a half this way and then I come back on myself and then I continue going all the way up so that's what I'm going to start to do but of course you don't need to see me do the whole of this it's time for me to hem this um, curtain, this section here, before I actually slide the whole thing over. I will now go and hem the top and get it ready for the buckram and I'm putting 6 inch buckram into this. So what I do now at this point is I measure from here to the top. At this point here it's nice if you've got two people and especially if you're going to be making your curtain on your floor, it is a really uh, kind of back breaking to do this uh, so it's nice to have two people but you know if you can't like me you do it on your own this curtain's going to be 93 inch drop 